Um, my name is Fred Prock, and uh, I'm a psychotherapist, and massage therapist. Um, before I go any further, I'd just like to uh, express my gratitude to Steve Kim and the ever Young Life Canada for creating this possibility. Um, today, I'd like to deal with more of the, the major health issue that most people aren't aware of. Um, if you've ever cleaned a chicken, and maybe some of you haven't, but inside there's all kinds of membrane, and that's called the fascia, and we have it everywhere inside us. And just a few years ago, about five or six years ago, it was discovered that this is amazing. And it, it is everywhere inside us. It envelops everything and it uh, participates in almost everything that happens in the body. Um, the, the fibrils from the fascia actually go right inside the cells and right inside the nucleus where um, the DNA is. And the fascia, if we're really stressed, can actually change how the DNA responds. So it's very important. And one of the main things that the fascia does is it is the medium for energy flow in the body. They've actually discovered that the acupuncture meridians are microscopic structures in the fascia that were discovered or at least they were they were um, defined by the Chinese 4,000 years ago and we've just found out about it in the last 30 years and it's actually there in the fascia and so acupuncture and, and shiatsu and acupressure and different fascial massage techniques release the tension in the fascia so that the energy can flow more. Um, we actually need the fascia to be working properly but the problem is that it's a res it has a, a protective defensive response in that if we're threatened, it tightens up. And it's interesting that, well, in our culture, um, the body is not credited with any kind of intelligence, but it's amazingly intelligent and it runs everything inside. And if it wasn't for the body, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that intelligence that balances and, and integrates and heals and does all the things that happen in the body that we think we're in charge of, but we're not. Um, so that's really important. And when the fascia tightens up, it interferes with blood circulation because um, it constricts the blood vessels that are embedded in the fascia. Um, it, it constricts the energy flow because it, it tightens and blocks the energy. And all the different functions of organs and joints and everything that people have problems with, they're all included in the fascia. Um, if you think about it, when you have a, an individual cell, there's a membrane around the cell that keeps the cell intact. And when that cell divides, that membrane is part of the two cells, but it stays connected, at least in us. If it didn't, the cells would float off and there'd never be us. Um, so it, it actually creates the space and the structure of what our bodies are, and it holds us together for most of our lives. So <clears throat> it is super important in every function of the body. The nervous system has wrappings of it. Actually, the skin has two layers. It used to be, up until about six years ago, it used to be felt that the skin was the biggest organ in the body. And now, it's the fascia. There are two layers of fascia in the skin. And the fibers of that fascia are really strong. And that's why we have leather boots and coats and furniture that's covered with leather. And it, it, it survives a lot of wear and tear because of that strength of those fibers. And if we have an injury, we, we create what's, or at least the fascia creates, scar tissue. And in the scar tissue, those fiber patterns, sort of like tree roots, spread out 
and try to stabilize the vulnerable place. And that can interfere with everything that's embedded in the fascia. So it can constrict blood vessels, it can interfere with joint functions and organ functions and all kinds of things. Uh, what I'm getting to is that it's extremely important to have supple fascia that supports all the different functions equally and healthily. And if we don't, then we suffer. Um, all the endocrine system is involved with fascia. So to get the hormones in the right areas, connecting to the different glands in the body, really important. Um, it affects our minds, right? What the, those hormones do, as most people understand now. Um, it, it is the, the, the basic uh, function of the immune system. There's, there's an endocrine gland in the middle of the chest called the thymus, and it's sort of the headquarters for the whole immune system. If the fascia tightens up around that, then the immune system can be impaired. So if we get really stressed, the function of the immune system goes down. If, if we have lots of anxiety and fear, that, that, that interferes with immune functions. And we're more liable to get things like COVID. Um, if, on the other hand, it goes the other way and it gets overexcited, the immune system can actually cause things like rheumatoid arthritis. So we need balance in the system. And basically today, um, I was wanting to show you a very simple technique um, that almost anybody who can stand without support can do effortlessly. So this, this technique is called earth watering and it's something that you do with your body but also with your imagination. And the main principle is that the energy follows thought. That's in, in energy work, that's, that's one of the fundamentals. And so what we're going to do is simply move the arms back and forth. Stand comfortably with your arms at your side and then just sort of swing the arms back and forth. And it's about, if you're metric, it's about 25 to 45 centimeters that you're moving your arms. And if you notice as I'm doing that, I'm sort of swaying a little bit. And the body does that automatically. I'm not trying to do it. But to maintain my center of gravity, the body does this automatically. Um, that's part of the intelligence of the body. And so, in, in doing this, we're actually moving the fascia. As we move, uh, the fascia moves. And if, if you've ever had the experience of getting up in the morning and you feel stiff and sore, you've been watching TV for a few hours and you get up from the chair, then you have a little bit of difficulty standing up from the chair right away. If you move around a bit, then that just lets go because the fascia will do that to allow the, the, the movement. But if you're not moving, the fascia has a tendency to contract if it's in protective mode and take up any of the slack, which causes the stiffness when we try to move. So when we're doing this, right, we're creating that little bit of movement and it's rhythmic and apparently the body really likes rhythm. That's why we dance and do things like that. Um, so doing this, I'm moving back and forth without even thinking about it, just swinging my arms. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to imagine that there's water coming out of my fingertips like little nozzles spraying on the ground. And as you do this, you'll find that the energy starts to flow. And as, as the fascia relaxes, the energy will flow more and more and more. And you may get tingling in your fingers, in your hands, or the warm sensations, um, a buzzing sensations, or just a sense of, of uh, circulation increasing, flow. And that's the energy. Um, you might also find that nothing happens. You don't feel anything. And that will because, be because the fascia needs to relax and it's going through the process of trying to relax. 
And so you just keep doing it. And if you do this for a couple minutes, chances are, if the fascia is allowing it, then you'll start to feel the tingling or the warmth or whatever. If you do this for five or 10 minutes a couple times a day, um, it's really, really beneficial. And if you have you know, some health problems, uh, you can do this as much as you want because there's no negative side effects to doing this. I mean, basically you're hardly doing anything. And it's the imagination that you're watering out your fingers, which is really not water, but it's the energy will be flowing out your fingers through your body, up to your shoulders and down out your fingers. And that will balance and, and harmonize everything that's going on in your body, uh, from the organs to the joints, um, to the circulation, the nervous system, everything. So that is basically the technique. And I hope that was valuable to you. And um, we'll talk again. Thank you.